So hi everyone, Sam here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're going to do a monster review onto Robo Rabbit. She's going to be the, the Tails monster and to be honest, one of the most interesting monsters we've seen so far. I like this monster but I don't think it won't be meta. Again, we're, we saw monsters like uh, Shadonia which are just the embodiment of meta. But I don't think this monster will be meta but I think she is definitely a monster you want to get because she's really fun to use. Uh, anyhow, let's start by reading this monster skill set. So the first skill is subscri su Surprise Gift. Sorry, I've been talking to myself for like an hour now because I'm recording a lot of stuff. So, excuse me if I am struggling to talk. <laughs> Anyways, um... You have Surprise Gift, which deals very low damage, special damage to one enemy, and applies a random torture effect to one enemy and gives one attention to itself. It's an extra skill, you're applying a, a random torture and dealing low special damage. I mean, that's why you want to run an extra turn monster, right? Then we have faster than a Megmo, a Megbo, just moderate target damage to one enemy, and yeah, that's it. Moderate thunder to one single enemy, now you don't really want it. Then we have bringing eggs, uh, no. AoE sunburn, zero cooldown. You don't really want it, because you have better choices and also... AoEs are really relevant right now with the use of dodge area, so these two skills are not that good. This skill is decent. Uh, then we have Carrot Stab, which deals very heavy, deals heavy special damage to an enemy, applies random torture to an enemy. Okay, this is nice. You're playing another random torture, which will mean um, pretty much everything. Then we have Feel Exhausted. Nice pun, social point. Uh, Deals moderate special, da special damage to all enemies that place random torture. You've seen a lot of spe a special damage on this monster and a lot of uh, uh, random torturing, which I like. It's kind of... it reminds me of um, a good version of... what is she called? Uh, oh god, Kaori. Just seen a Kaori, the corrupted monster, which is a monster that I really like. And I think I will enjoy using this monster a lot too. Then we have Electrodynamic. Carrot deals low thunder damage to an enemy gives one turn. This means that you can practically cycle forever. Um, uh, it's basically a selfish turn, zero cooldown. You can use that forever until you kill all the enemies' monsters. So, yeah, that's that's amazing. And this means that this monster is the next infinite extra turn monster. With her being able to apply random tortures. I think she will be a quite better one than everyone else. Then you have Rabbit Shocks, deals moderate thunder damage to one enemy, deals uh, moderate thunder damage to all enemies and applies one extra turn to itself. Requires cooldown. I like this because just like a Voltaic skill, he has a skill which is just like that. So yeah, I like this skill, I think you would run it. And then it's Friday, I, I love the fun, the puns uh, sort of point is trying to do right now. <laughs> Deals moderate light damage to one enemy, applies sunburn, and gives one extra turn to itself. Another torture. So you can basically run, you can basically get one guaranteed torture, which is sunburn, and a lot of random ones, as well as some AoE damage and um, single damage on the enemies, which I really love. And you can also deal different elemental attacks. You can also apply random tortures, which is something I really, really like. So yeah, I like this monster skill set. She's not gonna be meta, I'm telling you, but it doesn't matter because she is definitely a monster you want to get. Okay, not definitely, you can decide to not get her, but it won't be the same. I, I probably will get her just because she's a fun monster to use. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go to the trait and the design. So, her design was revealed a bit ago, and as you can see, that is it. I like her design um, a lot. I don't know, it gives me some get some weird vibes. Probably this because of the lightning sword. I honestly thought she was going to have Pierce at the, uh, at the start when I saw her first, but apparently not. I would have hoped she was a Pierce monster, but I guess it's fine. Oh, okay, they fixed it. Um, so, we have... First of all, for the life. She's a glass cannon, so she has a pretty low life. Um... She has the life set of 100, uh, of 131,799, which is, I don't know, it's pretty low for this uh, era. 
and she has the power stat of uh, 10,824, which is the average. Um, a lot of monsters have, all the attackers have at least this stat. We don't have a, uh, an attacker which is weaker than that, so yeah, she's on the average side for our attackers. And then speed stat though, she has a really high speed stat. This is above the highest stats and it's tied with that of um, instead of, uh, of Nishin the Great and um, of both Nishin the Great and what is he called? Uh, Mark. So she's a glass cannon. She is uh, she is not tanky, although she's really fast and she is somewhat strong. So I'm telling you this monster is really good just because of the speed stat. That could help a lot. And trade wise we have Hardened, which um, it's nice, I guess, which becomes tough, which is 35% of, uh, okay, Hardened is a 20% of not landing the effects on yourself, and then you have tough, which is 35%, which replaces the Hardened, and then on rank 3 you have Bulwark, which is the only really good thing about these monsters. It replaces tough, which is fine to me. You can also gain a rank 4 stamina regen to yourself, I think. And since this monster is an extra turn monster, you're basically getting, um, like, 3 attacks in. Which is amazing. 3 attacks for free. And I definitely love this on such a monster. Uh, I don't know if it's really the best thing in the world, but it's definitely a really good thing. And then at rank 5, you have, great, you have 3 protection. So... Not the best trait, even though it works well with her. Uh, with her being an extra turner, maybe you have uh, an enemy that can apply like Death Countdown or Shock. You can prevent it with the Bulwark, because that is going to help out a lot. You have the Stamina Regen, which is also nice, which will help you get uh, give yourself extra turns. And the Trait Protection, which is not relevant, to be honest. Uh, she can or Double Sword, which means she can... She cannot have stamina recovery relics, however, we have really good stamina recovery talents in this era, so yeah, I think that's really good. And last but not least, um, the double sword can be helpful for dealing damage, so you have the, the Elvira sword, which is really good. So yeah, there are really good options for these relics right now. I really recommend you getting this monster, even though she's not gonna be as good. She's also in... Uh, three different books instead of two, as usual. So she's in Mechanical, Adventurers, and Female. Which is fine, I guess. Uh, female is not lacking any monsters. We have a lot of good female monsters. Adventurers, same. Mechanical, well, I don't know. I think the last good Mechanical... No, okay, we have Teddy Bomb in the Mechanical te category. I take that back. <laughs> so, yeah. She's not in books that are lacking. However, the Thunder category is not that good. In the light category, okay, no, that, that is actually, like, really full of monsters, so... Another ca another monster countered by... <laughs> uh, by Shadonia, so, yeah. It's an amazing monster, you really want to get this monster. And that's pretty much all about it. So, yeah. That's pretty much all. Uh, this monster will cost you around 170 gems, because she's the Tails monster. But she's worth it. So, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.